Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for clicking on another video. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I post fashion content and travel content here on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love if you subscribed. I've got loads more videos coming up soon. So I spent over 500 pound on the Abercrombie sale and I'm gonna show you what I bought. I'm gonna do a little try on as well. If there is some stuff that I don't, particularly like, I might not actually try it on, I'll just see how we go. I've bought quite a mixture of things. You know sometimes when there's a sale and you just think, well I'll get this now and then I've got it. I'll have all the links to everything that I got in the description and I'm gonna do a link on my LTK, a collection of my sale picks that I bought. So I will pop that on there as well. I'm gonna also have a look on the website if there are any other nice sale picks, maybe ones that like I didn't order because they didn't have in my size, but I'm gonna pop them in there as well, just do look like my favorite Abercrombie picks from the sale and I'll pop that below in the description as well. So it came in two different bags, it actually got delivered on two separate days, that's when you know you've ordered a lot. So I'm gonna open the smaller bag first and see what's in there. Okay, first up we have these white linen shorts and if you've watched any of my recent videos you might have seen that I recently bought black and white pair of shorts from Abercrombie that are more like a smarter material rather than the linen but they fit so so nice like I'm so glad that I got them so when I saw that these ones were on there I was like yeah I need to get these they fit so nice and I just love how they look on they're perfect for summer and something like this never goes out of fashion like you can always wear it every year and it's just so timeless and chic and perfect for creating summer outfits next up we have this cute little shearling type jacket i know it is summer although it's not really summer in the uk but i think when there's a sale you can just never be too prepared for autumn this really reminds me of the mango one that was really popular winter and the winter before and it sold out everywhere it's that kind of style I just think it's really cute, it's a lovely colour and this would be perfect for autumn going into winter for this year. Honestly, I don't even want to think about autumn and winter yet, but how is it already more than halfway through the year? Like before we know it, it's going to be autumn, unfortunately. So, you know, when there's a sale, you may as well start getting prepared for it. But I think this is just going to be so cute, maybe to wear with like a little skirt and some tights and big boots for the winter. So those were the only two items that were in the small bag. I'm gonna open up this bigger bag and see what's in there. Probably know by now that I'm all about good quality basics and things that can be worn with pretty much every outfit. Things you can get a lot of wear out of, you can wear them for most of the year. So I went for this long sleeve bodysuit, which is kind of like a matte feel to it. Like that really comfy material that just feels really nice and seamless when you're wearing it. And a bodysuit I love because it means you don't have that tuck where it's like if your trousers aren't high enough or if they're not the right fit and you've got the material just coming out over the trouser like you just don't get that with a bodysuit which is great the neckline on this is also so nice like it's like a straight neckline i just think it's something a little bit different next up we have this cute little waistcoat style top which is in like an off-white color as you can see really like the square neckline detail on this and i just think you can't go wrong with a waistcoat type top also got the adjustable strap at the back which is great for kind of cinching the top in and makes it look really smart i think these kind of tops are just so smart and so chic and pairing them with like jeans trousers you can dress them up you can dress them down and they're just such a good essential to have and i'm always on the lookout for more tops like this this knitted bodysuit in three different colors because i thought if it fits well it's just going to be such a good essential it's really thick it feels like amazing quality and for autumn and winter i think this will be perfect it's got like the detail on the front as well, like the corset type detail, which can be really flattering. And the only thing is about the neckline, it's a shame it just doesn't quite fit right because I do actually really love the shape and the fit of it apart from that. This is obviously the grey one that's exactly the same as the black and I'm actually going to try and wear a little bit more grey and incorporate it a bit more into my wardrobe. I didn't wear it as much because I didn't really think it suited me, but I do actually really like grey and I like how it looks with like darker grey, with black, with white. So I think it has a a lot of potential. I think this piece will fit really nice with some of the other items in my wardrobe as well. So I thought this was the same as the black and the grey and it was a bodysuit but this one's actually like a jumper so it's a really really nice colour and this is going to go with so many things in my wardrobe as well. 
I love the neckline on it. I love how it fits. It feels amazing quality. Like the knit is just so nice on it. And for the price, this was so good. I'm so glad that I found this in the sale because it's such a lovely find. It's gonna look so flattering and really chic. And even like going out for dinner with jeans or trousers, I think it will look so good. This is the next item. And I'm starting to realize that I actually went with more of an autumn theme for this haul without even realizing it. I just kind of saw stuff in the sale and I was like, that's a really good price. I'm just gonna buy it. Like I didn't really think, oh, will I wear it now? Will I wear it in a few months? And I think because my style is quite just like timeless anyway, like I'm not really going for trends. I'm going for good quality basics and like capsule wardrobe pieces. It means that I can just buy stuff whenever and I know that I'll wear it in the winter and I'm not gonna like go off it because it is more timeless. So this is like a cardigan type jacket, but it's actually really thick. So I feel like it would be quite warm. Um, obviously it's like really good quality. The buttons are really cute on it as well. It's it's given Parisian chic, it's given Paris. <laughs> I'm actually going to Paris in November, but I feel like it might be a bit cold for this, but you know, I might just have to brave it. I think it's cute. I don't know if it's a bit too like QE style for me. I don't know if it's a little bit too like pretty, I don't know, but I think it's really nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it yet or not. We will see, I'm gonna have a think about it. So I've just realized as well that I ordered this black jumper, which is pretty much the same as the bodysuit version. I didn't even realize that I ordered both of them. I, um, I don't know if I did that by mistake. After trying both of them on, I think I'm gonna keep this one and return the bodysuit because I probably don't need both of them because they are so similar. So I went for this color in the bodysuit as well, which is the same as the black one because I just really like the ruched detail and the neckline. I think it's just something a little bit different, makes the outfit a little bit more interesting as well and it feels amazing quality. So I might actually return this one just because I think the colour is a little bit hard to style with other colours in my wardrobe. Like I'd prefer if this was like a proper bright white rather than like an off-white. So I went for another black bodysuit as well because I feel like you can never have too many good basic bodysuit essentials that you can wear with pretty much everything. I went for this black one with the square neckline and it's kind of the same material. Although this one does feel a lot thinner than the one with the high neck and the quality doesn't quite feel as good as the other one. But we'll see, I'm gonna like compare both of them and just see which one I'm gonna keep. Finally, I'm gonna finish off with two cute little bustiers type tops. This is like obviously an off-white colour and I've got it in the black as well. I just thought these were really cute to wear like underneath blazers with like high-waisted jeans or high-waisted trousers. I like to wear for dinner or something, um, just yeah, with like a blazer over the top, some jeans and heels for like a more dressy outfit. It comes with a clasp fastening at the back, so obviously it's adjustable, which is also really handy. I just think the black one would look really nice as well with like a black blazer, maybe some black leather look trousers as well when it's more like autumn winter or with some blue jeans or black jeans and like a crop jacket or blazer. I think it would just look really nice like a dinner outfit. So that's everything. Please comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you think there's anything I should maybe return, comment as well. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Do you normally shop at Abercrombie? If you do, do you like it or do you not like it? I want to know people's opinions on it. How do you find the quality? Let me know. I've got a few things from Abercrombie already and I'm really impressed with the quality and do not regret buying them. Like they've been some of my best purchases so far. I'd love to know if you've had the same experience or not. Please do comment any video ideas you want me to do as well. I would love any feedback. Let me know what you wanna see. Let me know if there's things that you liked about this video. Anything you didn't like, let me know in the comments. We'd love to talk to you and chat to you. I will always reply to people's comments. So if you've got any questions or anything, just pop them down below and I'll get back to you. And like I said, I will get all of the links for everything featured in this video and I'll pop them on LTK and I will pop the links in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're subscribed already, thank you so much. And, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I, I would be very grateful. I'm currently trying to hit 100 subscribers. It's my first milestone. So I'm not too far off now. And then hopefully it's onwards and upwards from there. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.